Hello everyone. This video will show how to write the standard form of the equation of a line given a line with two points. Before we go farther, please feel free to check out the description below for the link of the other series of topics related to lines. In order that we can write the standard form of this line that we have right here, we are supposed to come up with the slope intercept form first and then change this slope intercept form to its equivalent standard form. So before we go further, let's have a review on what a standard form of a line is and what is the slope intercept form of a line is. So if we are given the slope of a line and a point, we label this as x1, y1 we can go ahead and determine the equation of this line by using the formula y minus y sub 1 equals m quantity x minus x sub 1, where our m is the slope and the coordinates x sub 1, y sub 1 is a point on the line. Sometimes the slope is not given, but another point is given. We can go ahead and solve for the slope of the line using these two points, and we still can use the point slope form. We just have to pick which of those two points we use to replace the y1 and x1 in the equation. Equation y equals mx plus b standard form. This is having a formula ax plus by equals c. Now we remember that our a should always be positive. This standard form is generally used to determine the x and y intercepts of a line. So if we have here this line, it touches on this point on the y-axis and this point on the x-axis, we can determine the coordinates of these two points using this standard form. On the other hand, we also use this standard form in solving systems of equation. <laughs> Okay, going back to the example right here, we are supposed to determine the standard form of this um, line that we have right here. In order that we can do that, we are supposed to determine the slope of this line. Now, we remember that slope is defined as rise over run. So, in this case right here, since we're given two points, we go up. So, we are, we are going up here. So we count how many times we went up, that would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and we go to the right, that's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. This tells us that our slope then for this um, line represented as letter M is up and over. So that's rise, that's going up and run. So that would be 5 over 6. So we are going to use the point slope form to determine the equation of this line. So the point slope form has a general form of y minus y sub 1 equals m times x minus x sub 1. Now please remember that we cannot use the um, slope intercept form because we don't know what this slope is because it doesn't really touch on positive 2 here so it's it's a little higher than positive 2 so we go ahead and do the point slope form instead of the slope intercept form so in this case right here we can use any of these two points as our y sub 1 and x sub 1 so let's pick this point right here to be our x sub 1, y sub 1. So this would be 1 and 3. So this will be our x sub 1 and y sub 1. Again, you can use this one as well. The answer would still come out the same. So in this case right here, I'm going to go ahead and write y minus our y sub 1 is 3. And our slope that's rise over run is 5 over 6. And then that is x minus our x sub 1 is 1. So I'm going to go ahead and write 1 right here. So then we go ahead and isolate y by itself here. So we are going to distribute this 5, 6 to each of the terms inside the parentheses. So distributing that, this equation would come out. 
The next thing that we are going to do is to add three to both sides because we want to isolate y by itself on the left side. So that's going to be plus three and plus three. So these two gets crossed out. So we are left with y equals five over six x minus five six plus three. Since we cannot combine these two constants here because they don't have the same denominator, what we do is we are going to multiply this 3 by 6 over 6 so that their denominators will be the same. And so our equation would come out. That's going to be y equals 5 over 6x minus 5, 6 plus 3 times 6 is 18 over 6. So we can add these two together. That would come out y equals 5 over 6x. Negative 5 plus 18 is a positive 13. So that's going to be 13 over 6. Since we want this in um, standard form, we are going to multiply both sides by 6 so that we can get rid of the denominator 6. So I'm going to multiply the whole equation by 6. So this means that our 6 is going to be distributed to each of the terms inside the parentheses. So then our equation would come out 6y equals 5 times 6 is 30x over 6 plus 6 times 13 is 78 and that is over 6. So I go ahead and simplify this. This would come out 6y equals 30 divided by 6 is 5. That's x plus 78 divided by 6 is 13. And so we want this in standard form. That means we are going to subtract 5x from both sides minus 5x. And this gives us negative 5x plus 6y equals 13. Now, we remember that in standard form, our a should be positive. This tells us that we are going to multiply all of the sides, both left and right, by negative 1. And so, again, we distribute this negative 1 to each of the terms inside the parentheses. And this comes out... So this is the equation in standard form for this line that we have right here. So what we did was we had to use the um, point slope form and then from point slope form, we change it into its equivalent slope intercept form. And after that, we change from slope intercept form, we change it to its equivalent standard form. Now let's move on to the next example. Okay, so we go over the problem here. This problem right here has its y-intercept already. So that means we can go ahead and write the slope-intercept form of the line and go right away to its standard form. In this case right here, we're going to determine the slope. Again, we remember that the slope of a line is rise over run. So in this case right here, we from this um, First point, we go up, that's gonna be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then we go to the left, that would be one, two, three, four, five, that's a negative five. This tells us that our slope for this line is rise, that would be seven over five, and there's a negative, so that is negative seven fifth. From here, we can go ahead and say that the equation for this line would be y equals, we're going to use the y equals mx plus b. So that would be y equals, our slope is negative 5, negative 7 over 5, so that's negative 7 over 5x plus our b, the y-intercept is 1, 2, 3, that's a plus 3. So we go ahead and get rid of the 5. 
the denominator 5 by multiplying 5 to the whole equation. So I'm going to multiply 5 here. This tells us that this 5 will be multiplied to each of the terms inside the parentheses. So our equation would come out 5y, because you have 5 times y is 5y equals 5 times negative 7 is negative 35 over 5x plus 5 times 3 is 15. So we go ahead and simplify this further. So this comes out 5y equals negative 7x plus 15. We want this in standard form. So we are going to add 7x to both sides plus 7x. And so this comes out. We can cross the 7x out. So this will come out 7x plus 5y equals 15. So please notice that our a is already positive. That means we don't have to multiply the whole equation by a value to make it positive because it's already positive. So this is the standard form of this line that we have right here. And if we wanted to write this line in slope intercept form, it is this form right here. That's it. If you find this video helpful, hit like and subscribe for more math videos. See ya.